Welcome to this parts demonstration video. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how you can easily migrate an existing database library to Altium's managed components. We'll start out by looking at um, the results. Here's uh, Altium's managed components for a simple library, just 23, 23 parts in it. And it was uh, imported from a database library. And this database library you can download over at Parts and you can use it to um, migrate your library up to Altium's managed components. Okay, so let's take a look at that, the steps involved. I'm going to go back to the managed components. I'm going to select Control A, select them all. I'm going to delete them. I'll delete any related parts too. All right. So we'll go back to let me refresh this just to update that all to zero. We'll go back to the database library for a minute. So you can see in here we have um, 22 parts. I'll place one or two parts on the schematic just for comparison. I'll place a capacitor and I'll place a resistor. Now let's go ahead and migrate this library. And it's as simple as selecting import library. And I highly recommend that you use the advanced tab and do a validate, see if you have any issues. And you can see here we have one issue. And in the it's described over in the messages panel, tells us library item 330,000 does it have has an undefined component type. So right here we are. I'm going to change that to a new because that's a template part for me in my library. And if we were to hit validate again, you should see we have no issues. Now we can import the database. This will take about 60 seconds. While we're waiting on that, I'll point out that um, you could get yourself a copy of this parts database for free over at um, pcbpartsblogspot.com. I'll leave a link in the uh, comments down below in the video. Um, but once you get over to parts, you would just select the download tab and download parts. And extract these files onto your local drive. For example, I extracted them here on my C drive. All right. So Altium's just finished up. And we can look at the log if you like. And we can see that... Um, success a lot of success and some of the parts use the same footprints again so or symbols so that's what it's saying when it was already created some common footprints and symbols in there close the library migrate importer and now when we look in the components panel we can see our migrated parts I'm going to place that same resistor and capacitor again. And then we'll take a little bit of a look at the structure of the library. Notice here that we have a, our, our manufacturer part number and then we have a couple alternates too. So looking at the parameters scroll down here I'm not seeing a scroll bar here. oh here we are I was look, what I was looking for is manufacturer two and three two and three so there was our primary manufacturer and then our second and third manufacturer part numbers and that's what you're seeing listed over here that's one of the things that's nice about the the migrated parts 
um, compared to the database library is that if we were to look in that same part here that came from the database library, it was item 30,014 when it was migrated, um, Altium elected to only show the manufacturer, primary manufacturer part number. You still have those in your parameters, the second and third manufacturer part numbers, and you can print them out on your bill of material, but the link to those parts, um, Altium chose not to display those for the database library, whereas they do display them in the migrated parts. But other than that, that's the only real difference you'll see. Um, you know, the comment is changed to uh, 30,014, which was the design ID. Um, it's just one of the things that Altium does during the import, so the design ID replaces the comment field. Um, however, I don't display the comment field in my schematics myself. Um, I always display a field named value. So you'll notice here that I have two um, default fields displayed, value and voltage rating, for example, for the um, resistor and capacitors. You can add others if you like. You just need to tag them as your favorites. Um, but I, what I was pointing out there is that you can see that those fields, when the parts were placed, are displayed here. Okay. And that's because they were set up that way in the database library to be visible when the part was placed. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the library using uh, the parts front end. The parts front end is an application that allows users to very easily uh, manage their libraries. You can add new parts, make summer parts, save parts, delete parts, filter parts. Um, you can verify files. Um, anyway, you can uh, download that over at um, pcbpartsblogspot.com and uh, test that out or use it to migrate uh, your libraries. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at contact parts